Hello Leos, welcome to Albino Moonchild Tarot. I'm Becky and I will be doing your second half of July 2018 general love reading. Keep in mind this is general. And this is for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for July 15 through the 31st, 2018. I see one more shuffle and then we can begin. Alright, Leos. So how I do this is I will pull the cards out for you and show them to you one at a time and then we'll get into your read. And I'm using the Rider Tarot deck to do your read and then it's going to be clarified by the Mystical Manga uh, deck, okay? So let's see what's going on for our lovely Leos. The first card out is Ace of Cups. Second card out is Seven of Cups. Third card out is Nine of Wands. And then we have the High Priestess. Under the Ace of Cups we have the King of Wands. Under the Seven of Cups we have the Knight of Cups. Under the Nine of Wands we have Death. And under the High Priestess we have Nine of Swords. At the bottom of the deck we have Five of Cups. Oh wow, okay. So Leo, the main focus of the reading is that there is a loss or a disappointment or some regrets. So let's see why this is happening. Okay, so the first card out is, of course, the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups could be a new relationship happening, uh, a new chance at love, or somebody that's going to offer you this cup. Uh, this could be like an I like you, I want to, like, let's date. And all I'm seeing is it's either you're giving this person an opportunity or this person is giving it to you this person could also be a fire sign like yourself could be Sagittarius Leo Aries or this could just be your energy okay I see that the, we have the seven of cups right beside it which means to me that you are confused or you have options on who you can go to or this person that is offering this um, offer to you has options but again it could be just confusion as well like it would be like you have um, so many people coming towards you and then of course with the Knight of Cups underneath it I feel like it is options that uh, you have people coming towards you saying, hey, you know, I really like you. I'd like to get to know you some more. Or that this person that is coming towards you and offering this, this new emotional beginning with you uh, could be um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Uh, this person has options or this person just makes you confused. It's like, um, you didn't even probably see that one coming. And then uh, you have the Nine of Wands. So you are very defensive. It's like you have woundings from the past, maybe, and you're just very guarded. You're willing to give it a chance, but you're just very guarded. And then we have death underneath that. 
which to me is like, there's an opportunity for a new beginning, but something has to end. And it could be that you need to end this. You need to put your guard down. You need to go within yourself and figure out what's wounding you. It could be from like past relationships, past family, uh, you know, family life. It, it could be anything. Um, so I, the high priestess is next and it's like, you're needing to use your intuition. You're needing to do some research or you're digging up some information, but it has you worried. It has you feeling anxious, but you need to use your intuition to guide you through because your intuition will never fail you. All right, so let us clarify some cards. Let's see what the Seven of Cups is all about. What is the Seven of Cups here, please? What is the Seven of Cups here for the yo? Oh, I already feel one. All right. Oh, two cards came out. Hmm. So, the Seven of Cups is being clarified by the Seven of Wands and the Three of Wands. So, the Three of Wands is like you're waiting. You're waiting for that big shipment to come in. You're waiting for something that, like, is right for you like you know what's right for you you know what brings you passion so you're waiting for it but i also feel like you're blocking either this person or you're blocking um you're blocking opportunities and it could be because you're very confused or that you have so many options Okay, um, let's, let's clarify this nine of wands. Let's see. Um, and also, what I'm also picking up, um, seven and three is ten. So this could be like a ten of wands almost situation where it just, you're carrying a burden and it's like, Something was little before and then it grew monstrously. Like, it, you just don't want it, that kind of energy anymore. You don't want that um, burden. Oh, card fell on the floor. Let me go grab it real quick. Okay, so I usually don't read uh, reversals, but because this card flew out and landed on the floor, I'm going to go ahead and read it as a reversal. So the Nine of Wands is being clarified by the Emperor in reverse. So this could be somebody like an Aries or, uh, or just the energy of somebody who is very controlling, but they decided just to be stoic. They're not even going to um, put in, or they don't even care anymore, okay? So they're just standing still like a, like a statue. So I'm gonna show this card upright so that way you guys can see. So with this, it's like somebody who draws a line in the sand, who gets respect and because respect is earned and given. But with the reversal, this person is the total opposite. Doesn't respect you, very controlling, very manipulative, and you're wounded by it. So that's why death is happening. 
um, death to me is like the ending of a relationship even. Okay, and then lastly, we're going to clarify the Nine of Swords, which is under the Empress. Why the Nine of Swords and Empress? I'm not the Empress, I'm sorry, the High Priestess, the High Priestess. My cards are telling me it's not the Empress back here. High Priestess, and here we go. Knight of Wands. Okay, so what you're fearing is that this person is in and out of your life. This person, I'm just going to say it bluntly, has great sex with you, um, but you're needing to use your intuition and a, like really think. You need to stop the worry and fear. Get out of your head. Leo, get out of your head. I know you're in your head. It's crazy. Fire signs like to overthink. I know because I am one. All right. Use your intuition. You know the answer to this question or you know how you feel about this person here. This uh, possible fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or this could be a Sagittarius or whoever it is, whatever sign, because I mean, honestly, we can go with air sign. Taurus or Sagittarius specifically okay you need to get out of your head use your intuition to guide you do some more research or whatever you feel that you need to do in regards to this person that is in and out of your life okay and that is what I have for you dear Leos I hope that this message helped somebody this message is not for everybody. If it didn't resonate, then maybe next month's reading will be uh, for you. So if you do like uh, the video, if this resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment. Please comment. And I will see you guys next month when we are in your season. All right. Namaste, Leos.